Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Endoclimate. Today's video will be a part of our EIA series in which we will understand the public hearing process, how it is performed and what should you as a project proponent ensure before choosing an EIA consultant for your environmental clearance process. As we know, public hearing, also known as public consultation, refers to a process by which the local people's concern regarding a project's adverse impact are ascertained and taken into account in the EIA study. This concept was legally introduced in India as a part of public hearing in 1997. Since then, public hearing has played an essential role by providing the, a stage for locals to voice their concern with the project proponents and the monitoring agencies. So let's start the video and understand the process of public hearing. The applicant will request a simple letter to a member secretary of the State Pollution Control Board or the Pollution Control Committee in whose jurisdiction the project is located to arrange the public hearing within the prescribed statutory period. In case the project sites cover more than one district or state or a union territory, the public hearing is mandated in each of these districts, states and union territories in which the project is located. The applicant will then need to make a separate request to each of the concerned SPCVs and the PCCs for holding public hearing as per the procedure. Thereafter, a letter of request and hard copies of the draft EIA report along with the summary EIA report must be submitted to the following authorities or offices, the district magistrate or the district collector or the deputy commissioner, the Zilla Parishad or the municipal corporation or the panchayat union, the district industries office, urban local bodies, PRIs, concerned developmental authorities, the concerned regional office of the Ministry of Environment and Forest. Now, the authorities will arrange to widely publicize this information of public hearing within their respective jurisdiction, requesting that interested persons send their comments to the concerned regulatory authorities. The state pollution control boards will also make similar arrangements for giving publicity about the project. Also, the member secretary of the concerned SPCV will finalize the date time and the exact venue for the conduct of public hearing within seven days of the date of receipt of the draft environmental impact assessment report. Now, the public will have 30 days to provide written suggestions, views, comments and objections to the SPCB. Public can also access the executive summary of the project's salient features in the local language and in English and the draft EIA report which can be obtained from the various departments mentioned. The SPCV will then form a public hearing panel that will include representatives from the SPCV, the district collector or their nominee, the state government representatives dealing with the project and up to three representatives of the local panchayat or the municipality along with three senior citizens nominated by the district collector. The persons present at the venue will be granted the opportunity to seek information or clarification on the project from the applicant. The process will be completed within a period of 45 days from the date of receipt of the request letter from the applicant. After the hearing process, the project developer will receive an NOC from the SPCB and then can proceed with the environmental clearance process. Now, as we reach end of today's video, for those of you who are in between the environmental clearance process or those who are looking for EIA consultants, I will now bring to your attention the role of consultants in the public hearing process. As we know, consultants are responsible for identifying and assessing the potential environmental impacts and proposing measures to mitigate those impacts. Hiring a seasoned EIA consultant with a proven track record in conducting public hearing or EIA report presentation is a must. Now let's look at their role one by one. Consultants will assist in preparing the public hearing notice and the executive summary of the EIA report. They also provide important information and answer the queries related to the EIA report and any suspected environmental impacts. Consultants are responsible for compiling and addressing the concerns or objections raised during the public hearing and make necessary revisions to the EIA report. Now, how effectively the consultants can manage their role during the hearing process becomes crucial in the entire clearance process. A project proponent must only place their trust in experienced and certified consultants for this important role. We at Underclimate have a pan-India network of NABIT certified and seasoned EIA consultants 
who can handle your project compliances and reporting formalities. If you have any queries related to your developmental project, contact our experts from the details shown. So that was all for today's video. Thank you for watching.